Okay, so this video goes over an example of determining demand pull or cost push inflation. What if there's an increase in minimum wage? Well, the trick here is you have to recognize two things. When minimum wage goes up, the cost of inputs goes up. Because labor is an input in a lot of production processes, so when the cost of labor goes up, the cost of inputs goes up, and that's going to decrease aggregate supply or shift it left. Also what happens when minimum wage goes up, you can argue that income goes up. And if income goes up, we're going to see consumption go up, and if consumption goes up, we're going to see a shift in this aggregate demand curve. So we're going to see aggregate demand increasing. So if only aggregate demand increased, this would be our new equilibrium point, and this would be our new equilibrium price level. It would go up, and that would be demand pull inflation. If we only had this aggregate supply curve shift, we would have this new equilibrium point with a higher price level, and that would be cost push inflation. But we're having both things happen at once. We're having an increase in aggregate demand and a decrease in aggregate supply. That means our new equilibrium point occurs at a much higher level because we have both demand pull and cost push inflation happening at the same time. And in this example, I, I shifted the curves the same amount, so we actually end up at the same real GDP level as our initial equilibrium. So if we were to raise minimum wage and both the curves shift the same amount, all we see happen in the economy is an increase in price or inflation. Nothing happens to real GDP because people use the income to buy more stuff, but firms are willing to supply less of it because costs went up, so nothing happens to GDP. Just price level goes up.